everyone so in last video we have seen about the serverless sql pool in azure synapse we have seen like how actually we can use a serverless sql pool by a practical now in this video we are going to understand more about it and also we are going to see about the dedicated sql pool okay so whenever we create azure synapse workspace so in azure synapse we get all the capability like we can perform a ingestion we also can perform a computation and also we can connect with the connector like the power bi and all okay now when we talk about the computation we get a serverless sql pool dedicated sql pool and the spark sql pool okay so if we'll talk about the serverless sql pool so here what actually happens you have a data data available in a in a adls location and we can query on top of it and also if you want if you want we can create external table pointing to file right so that actually we can do with the help of the serverless sql so in a serverless sql pool we do not need to we don't need dedicated server to run the query okay we don't need any dedicated server to run the query serverless computation it provides okay so what actually happen in the case of the serverless sql pool we don't need any dedicated uh, cluster which will uh, run for which will require for the computation we get the serverless sql pool with the help of that actually we can run any query okay and whenever you are running a query only for that only you will get charge okay so what is the charge we get a 5 okay 5 dollar we get per db 5 dollar per tb is the cost we get okay in the case of the serverless sql pool now let us talk about the dedicated sql pool in the case of the dedicated sql pool we will create dedicated sql and it's like a our data where housing okay now let me go to the azure portal and let me try to first show you how actually we can create a dedicated sql okay now if you log into the azure synapse studio right now if you go to the manage okay in a manage if you go we have a sql pool in a sql pool we get a two things one is the built in okay so by default whenever you create your azure synapse workspace the serverless will get created okay this testing one i have created dedicated now that also i will show you how actually you can also create a dedicated sql pool okay but the serverless whenever you will create a synapse workspace the built in serverless you will get it and uh, you can query any data which we have already seen in a previous video now let us try to see how actually we can create a dedicated sql okay now if you click on the new okay now here we get a option to create a sql so suppose if you are creating any dedicated sql pool suppose i am giving name like testing one okay the performance level i will select the lower so that i will not get much cost okay you can see estimated price 1.51 usd so that only for the testing purpose i am creating and after that we just have to review and the create okay make sure whenever you are not using you pause it because in a dedicated sql pool whether you are using or not using you will get charged because dedicatedly dedicatedly that sql is assigned to you okay now if you want to pause it we get a option like uh, here like if you will see here pause option if you are not using just pause it otherwise you will get charge in case of the serverless whenever you are running a query then then only you will get charge but in the case of the dedicated sql pool you will get charge okay so make sure you remember this now it is uh, deploying i have already created one more testing uh, dedicated sql pool so i will go for that okay now i will go to the data if you will go to the data right in a workspace okay so in link you will get to see all the kind of the data lake storage which is assigned now if you go to the workspace here whatever the dedicated sql pool will you will create right that actually will come into this workspace now if you click here you get multiple option like the table external tables and everything okay now what actually i will do i will create a uh, if you want to create a database that also you can create 
now what I will do I will create a new SQL script okay if you will create a new SQL script to create a table you will get by default this particular script that should be assigned so what we are going to do what I have done if I will go to the my uh, container the data lake storage in a data I have one department.csv file if I will show you here I have a file on which only the data is there the no column is there okay so what I will do I will try to create an external table on top of this particular data so I will go here okay I have one of the script let me show you what this script is doing I will send you this script also okay so what actually I am doing I am creating one table department table okay and here I am assigning three column one is the user ID department and the designation and this all are where care I am taking okay now the distribution we are taking the round robin in case of the dedicated we get a multiple distribution type the round robin is one of them okay now with this query your table will get created okay if I will execute this our table will get created okay now after this we want to load and we want to point the particular file right so for that what actually I am doing in a bottom query if you will see copy into the department table and this this is the three column which I am selecting and this is the location where my data is there okay this is my this is the location where my data is there so what I will do I will try to copy this now if I will run this and that file type also we I have assigned if I will run this the, the file will get copied okay now if I will try to execute now let me try to execute the query okay dedicatedly once equal get assigned now here you can write any kind of the query and you can uh, use that okay now you can see I am able to down, uh, query on top of the data okay I, I have created three column user ID department designation that is pointing to that particular location okay and uh, we have a data also okay so that is how actually we can create a table now uh, this is the normal table we have created now if you want to create external table that also you can create external resource you can point out also so this all the kind of the option you will get it okay now uh, this is how now if you want to run any kind of the query you can write it here select count star if I also I will write uh, so it will show how many rows are there or any kind of the SQL query if you want to run dedicatedly you can run it and uh, make sure if you are not using just pause it otherwise you will get charged okay in the case of the dedicated in case of the serverless you will not be charged if you are not running the query but in case of the dedicated you will get charged so make sure that you remember that okay now what I am, what is the query I am writing I am writing the query like the count star from this particular table uh, so I will get how many rows are there okay uh, you can see six rows are there so that actually we are getting you can write any query kind of the query and you can do the analysis now if you will see uh, here the connect to right in a connect to whatever the uh, whatever the dedicated SQL pool you will create right that actually will come like the built-in you want to run with the in a serverless that also you can use I am using the testing one this is the one I have created so like that actually you can connect with any kind of the dedicated SQL pool I hope you got it thank you